What's your approach to developing programs that will teach America how to eat healthier mm -hmm. and live better? My personal mission through everything that I do is to create conscious eaters. So I'm not saying that I put the healthiest of recipes on my blog and that when I you know, talk about making grits, I you know, advocate for using fat-free milk um, and no butter. But I, in everything that I do, whether it's through my writing or in the videos that I'm making or through my blog, I, I want people to be more conscious about what they're putting in their bodies. And so I try to help them make those decisions. It, in some cases, it's just by saying, this is really fattening. This short ribs recipe, maybe you know, a once every two month kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's good. And you know, I love to make really good food. And so I wanna share those recipes and those ideas with, with people, but I want them to be able to make the decision and have the information that they need to decide if, if they want to make it or eat it. Mm. And I think that that is one of the biggest problems because we're not cooking for ourselves. We're not consciously thinking about what we're putting into our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, in everything I try to do, it's with the, the purpose of creating more consciousness around food. And food consciousness simply is an awareness? It's a, an acknowledgement about our intake of food. You know, people that are struggling with their weight or you hear people all the time say, I just don't know why I'm not losing weight. And then you get them to write that, you know, everything they're putting in their mouth down and they've lost 10 pounds. I just think that we're on the go, we're busy and food has become an afterthought in some cases. And in some cases it's become an indulgence. And so for both of those things, it's less of, you know, there's less consciousness around it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's dangerous.